tonight. It's Madden NFL Football. Super Bowl 60. It's the Cleveland Browns taking on the Detroit Lions. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Tonight, it's all on the line. We play for the Lombardi Trophy as it'll be the AFC champion Cleveland Browns taking on the NFC champions, the Detroit Lions. champions have come and gone who will claim number 60 as we're off in the 2026 Super Bowl and it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29 so here are the Lions now coming out for their opening drive and leading them Charles their quarterback their field general it's pretty much become the norm when we see guys come out before a game and go through the round tree with their receivers I thought it was exciting for us to see the exact same thing happen in practice. He's, not, so, he's so meticulous, isn't he? He really is, and it's not. that told me it's not just a one-time-a-week thing. They work on it all the time, trying to hone that fine edge. They want to see if they can get in sync and stay in sync in this one. Off play action. Hicks. He's got his tight end on the corner route. It's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. First and 10 at the 49-yard line. On first and 10, Hicks firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. 16 more on that one and another first down. Back-to-back -to -back good plays have him on the move on first down. And he's locked in early. Two nice first down completions to start. I like the fact that he's seeing the whole field early. Spreading it around a little bit in the early game. And he is out of bounds, but first he gets it inside the 10 to the 7. A good pick up there, 26 yards. First down. First and goal at the 7-yard line. And the Lions are going to have it first and goal as he'll take this down to about the three. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. A four-yard game brings up second and goal. They'll try to run this one in. They're able to get a couple here, but won't get across the plane as they stop it right around the one. A big one here early in this Super Bowl. It's third and goal. Third and goal. From the gun, 
picks to the end zone, but it's incomplete. Boy, such a good drive. You'd hate to have it end in three. Do you think about going for it? Absolutely. I mean, the fact that they've moved the ball so well should lead you to the decision that maybe we should go for it right here. Also, as a head coach, show some confidence in your team. Let them know you think they can go get it. Makes the score Lions three. Browns nothing. Three points, probably not going to win this Super Bowl, but at least you get something on the opening drive. And it's certainly not going to lose it. So the bottom line is, come away with the points now, come back and get greedy later, and try and put it in the end zone. The Browns take over. So here are the Browns under head coach Kevin Stefanski. And they will be led out by their six foot six cornerback. And what I enjoyed in preparing for this game was talking not just with the coaching staff, but with him as well. And I found it interesting that the coaching staff sees him one way, and he sees himself an entirely different way. Yeah, one thing he said he's always working on, he's, we know he's not bad at this, but his footwork always wants to improve that, and that's something he's going to focus on here. And what was so funny, what the offensive coordinator said right off the top, he's got great footwork. Love his footwork. So this guy is never satisfied. First play of the drive going for 14 and also going for a first down. This Super Bowl, of course, just a huge one for this head coach. The first time he's walked the sidelines in a game of this magnitude, and you know, I might normally ask the cliche, what's going through his mind right now? But maybe the better question, CD, what do you think are the pitfalls of being a first-time head coach in this game? Well, you know it's something that he thought about, Brandon, and he had to, and he was thinking about it long before he got to this stage. As the season progressed, and he saw that his team was good, if he was smart, he started to make plans right then and there. Reach out to other coaches who've been there before. Find out how they handled winning, losing, handling all the ticket situations, travel, practice, all those things. And then trust your gut, make your best decision, and put it all out there and give your team the best chance to win. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. How about to start throwing the football? Four for four on this opening drive. Oh, he's slinging it. And oftentimes when you talk about slinging it, you're thinking about a guy throwing it all over the yard, not necessarily accurately. In this case, though, he's honing in on his targets, and he's delivering. Yeah, the opening script, however, they drew it up for this first drive, going to plan so far. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. He was brought down at the 28-yard line. A seven-yard pickup brings up second and three. Now a handoff here to his running back. And a pretty good run as he'll get this down close to a first at the Lions 22. Six yards the pick up, and that's a first down. The 22-yard line. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. The pickup goes for 13 and sets him up first and goal. First and goal at the 9-yard line. And he'll give it here to his running back. Yeah, the Browns are going to have it first and goal as he'll take this down to about the three. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Brings up second and goal. They'll try to run this one in. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. That'll set him back with a loss of three on the play. And that's going to bring up an interesting third and goal. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. They'll look to throw on third and goal. And that's going to be caught for a Browns touchdown with the first touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Browns have taken the lead. I do believe we came here to see a game, didn't we? And it looks like he's running what we call routes versus air. You just go out there with your offensive unit and throw the football with no defense. He's five for five on the opening drive. He was on his game there for drive number one, but my only thing is now he can't go any higher than that. He was so perfect. Can he do it again later? Yeah, all he cares about right now is making it 10 for 10, 15 for 15, <laughs> that going. and he feels like he can get it done.
the kicker on for the point after. They had to go to the monitor, get an extra look. That's what the technology is for. And this touchdown will count. His kick is point after, good. right down the middle. And that makes it a 7-3 lead. Lions three. Mitch Here is Wisnowski to boot it away following the touchdown. This will be fielded inside the five. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. And they're on the 31-yard line. Back onto the field come the Lions for their second overall drive. They trail early on in this Super Bowl as they come up first and 10. Operating from the gun. Hicks. Almost able to intercept it. That's one he would have liked to have held on to on his first drive. Instead, second down. It's second down and 10. Back to the air on second down. Hicks. They set up the screen to Dorset. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. It's a gain of four. Brings up third and six. From the gun, Hicks. Going to throw right side here, complete. And he is going to have a Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. His second catch in the Super Bowl, and it's good enough for a first down. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. Set. And he's going to take this across the 50 into Browns territory. He's across me. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Brings up second and five. They just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. Throwing it a traffic there, and that's complete. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. Three. Brings up third and two. Now it's Dorsett. And he's brought down, but not before picking up the first with a very effective stiff arm. Having met a football team yet that runs the ball successfully, that doesn't talk about having an attitude to be a running football team, right? You gotta be able to put your nose in there, smell where the first down sticks are, and get there. She'll run with three tight ends here on first down. They'll run. It's Dorsett. Flashed the stick skills, but didn't get a ton from it. Stopped short of the 35. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. Looking to throw on second down. Hicks. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. His first catch of this Super Bowl, and it'll be good for a first down. Back to throw. Hicks. He finds Dorsett. It's complete. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. More muscle up front for this second and two. They've got three tight ends out there. The Lions with the football here to begin the second quarter as they've got it with a second down and two coming up. And they hand it off to Dorsett. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. Four yards the pick up, first down. But we always talk about good down and distance, allowing offenses to expand their playbook. The second and two, that means your playbook's wide open. You can run just about anything. But a lot of times, the play caller, he just looks down at his sheet, sees the short yardage runs, and goes to one of those. 
The right Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. And this is why aggressive defense coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D lineman to make the play. To throw on second down. Hicks. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And he's able to break out of one tackle, but then quickly brought down. A good job defensively to hold that to four yards, and now it's third down. In order for a screen pass to break big, a lot of things have to come together and be well executed. But all it takes is one small thing to go wrong and keep it from being a big game. The Lions on third down. They've been okay two for three thus far. This is third and four. They'll roll him out right. He can run, and he takes this one in for a Lions touchdown. A 12-yard touchdown run, and the Lions are going to jump back in front. Well, they were backed up on third and goal, and when you saw him starting to scramble, my thought process was he'll get what he can and maybe get out of bounds. But he got a little bit greedy there, and in this case, greed was good as he got into the end zone. Manis for the point after. And it's through, and that makes the lead 10-7. So that one a 13-play drive in total. And it was capped off by a 12-yard touchdown run. touchdown. Here's McManus now to kick it away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Takeover first and 10 at their own 26-yard line. Second drive coming up here for Cleveland as they return to the field on offense. And they'll be looking to build off of a nice drive last time. A drive that really relied on the quarterback making good decisions, distributing the ball well, distributing it accurately, keeping it away from danger. A really nice little run drive. But now the defense, what adjustments do they need to make in the passing game? Pass rush, pass rush, pass rush. Whether it's the guys up front, or maybe you bring additional guys, but you've got to disrupt the timing of them throwing the ball. We'll see if they can disrupt it here. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, Get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. And he rifles one incomplete. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Big yardage there for the Browns, 18. That was just a good example of taking what the defense gave him. No one opened downfield, knew where his safety valve was, swung it out to him. He gets upfield and picks up the first down. Well done all the way around. First down, Clinton, and down he goes at the 49, a three-yard pickup. Carried by number 24. The tackle made just shy of midfield. It's a pickup of three. Brings up second and seven. Looking to throw on second down. McMillan, oh, the rookie nearly had the pick. Probably should have had it. Third down now. Brings up third down and seven. To throw on third down. McMillan, he'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he got blown up. Losing yardage on the play back at the 44. I love the intelligence the defense just showed there. Read their keys, saw the screen developing, ran to it, and smothered it. What a third down stop by them. So on fourth down, here's the Australian native Mitch Wisnowski to punt this one away. And an 
nice job here on special teams. This will be down inside the 10 at the 8-yard line. I absolutely love the flexibility of these punters. Their leg drive, able to get it way up in the air, and that allows their punt team to get down there and down it inside the 10 because they've had some time. There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. He's been good. His guys are winning. So far, the recipe working here in the second quarter. And he doesn't like to just tote the rock. He wants to carry his team on his back. And that's what he's done throughout this game. Yeah, he's done that. He'll be hoping to continue that trend. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave him with a second and two. And two. give this is Dorsett and he's going to lose yardage here back to the 14 yard line two yards the loss and now they go from second and two to a tough third and four I like the strategy extra tight ends extra beef they want to run the football but that means they probably want to run it inside if you get strung out on the perimeter you're in peril yeah we saw the result negative yardage on third down. They've been good. Three for four thus far. This is third and four. Operating from the gun. Hicks. Got a man and he hits him in stride. And he is going to have a Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Four catches already here in this Super Bowl. He's got another first down. And Brandon, from our time in college football where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed, picking up the first. First and 10, and they've got three tight ends out there. A jumbo package look. And to give this time to the tailback. And he's going to get about seven yards on that one up to around the 33. A good run, got seven on first. Here's second and three. It's a gain of seven. Brings up now a handoff here to his running back. The running back again. Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stopped him just short of it. What it does is emphasize that strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. It'll be a pickup of only a yard, and it'll give him a fresh set of downs. That's quite a spot there for his first carry of the game, but obviously they had plenty of faith in him, didn't they? No question about it. And here, why not go with the fresh legs? Able to push forward, pick up that first. So from the 36 now, first and 10. From the gun, Hicks over the middle, and it's incomplete. They'll try again from the 36 on second and 10. Brings up second and 10. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half to about the 39. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. On third down, Hicks. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. One of the money routes for any offense, the drag route. So tough to defend because the receiver can stop at any point and make himself available to the quarterback and get a completion. But I love the communication we saw there. All the defenders pointing out the receiver, where he was going, and then they're able to rally to the ball after the catch and stop him short of the first down. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line. Absolutely ideal. From that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five. Superb. From deep in their own territory, they look to throw. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And he'll take this one up to about the six-yard line. Not much there, only a yard. Brings up second and nine. To throw on second down, McMillan. 
McMillan's pass. The Browns on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This is third and nine. Third down and nine yards to go. Throw left side complete. It's Ferguson. And he is going to have a Browns first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That's a first down with a cherry on top, 31 yards. And that one hurts defensively. They force him into third and long, had the advantage, yet they give up the big play right there. Yeah, their offense was already warming up on the sideline, ready to come out. So much for that three and out. Much more room to operate under after the big play. Here's first and 10. And he'll give it here to his running back. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. For the ball carrier. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. A gain of four. It's now second and six. Looking to throw. McMillan. Quick hitter here. It's complete. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions' 44-yard line. The 44-yard line. So the ball moves into Lion territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 44-yard line. Coming up in a couple of minutes, we'll get you to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. The coach will have stats and scores from earlier today in the NFL. Now this one complete downfield on the left side. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. Ten more there and another first down. And another thing that makes the comeback route really effective is that oftentimes after you've made the initial move, receivers breaking away from the defensive back, and that makes it a really tough play to defend. A nice chunk of yardage picked up there. Operating from the gun, McMillan throwing middle, and it's complete. Ten it's another 10 yards on that one and another first down. They still need about the length of the football here, maybe a little less as they come up on second and inches. Meanwhile, the throw here is complete. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions 14. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. On first down, McMillan. This will be caught just inside the 10. Now the Browns signal for the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Looking to throw on second down. McMillan. He'll be hit and taken down at the 21. Well, that takes a start to have a good drive. Quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? Now, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And old Mo is a very, very fickle man. For the Lions, an extra DB in the game now here on third down. He's got his man in stride, complete. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with 23 seconds to go till halftime. And his kick is indeed good. And that will knock things up here late in the first half. Maybe a nice psychological boost there just to get back to even with that field goal as we head towards half. Coaching 101 always says at halftime, play it like it's 0-0 on the scoreboard. Well, in this case, it's level, right? Same score each side. Just start over. Now you get the second half to play. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Throwing on first down. Hicks. Over the middle complete. That's Morris. 
And this offense going to elect to burn a timeout with five seconds remaining in quarter number two. A final shot before break. Hicks. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. So it's halftime here on sports' grandest stage in the Super Bowl. As we send you up to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. What a season this has been. Hard to believe it ends tonight. As we'll get back to you guys for the second half of this Super Bowl in just a moment. It's been a tremendous season of football, but it's not over yet. One half remains to decide who will stand on the podium with the Vince Lombardi Trophy. And to call the second half, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Taking it about the one. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. The Browns take over first and 10 at their own 24-yard line. Here's the Browns offense now getting set to start off this third quarter. We have not seen much on offense from either side. These last few drives, it has been a struggle, hasn't it? Totally, and you're thinking to yourself right now, if you're on offense trying to get things figured out, okay, we self-scout every week in our game plan. How many things do we do at certain times? What are our tendencies? Time to go to some of those tendency breakers and try and create some offense. Well, they always have those in their back pocket, don't they? You have to. And if you don't keep abreast of what you're doing, you lock into a rhythm and make it easy for the opposition. Looking for tendency breakers right now. Five catches for him in that first half, and that's number six that we just saw, and also a first down. time to the tailback and he's going to get it across the midfield stripe into lion territory eight yards on the pickup and now they'll have some options on second and short eight yards on the pickup brings up second and two they'll keep it on the ground clinton and he gets this inside the 35 yard line give him 14 on that one and a first down we use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. From the gun, McMillan. And he whips that one incomplete there. McMillan's back. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. Second and 10, we're all knotted up at 10, but it appears that may change soon. Only question is, will they have to settle for three? Throwing again, McMillan. And he comes back with one complete. And down to the 20, he'll go before heading out of bounds. A gain of 13, it's a first down. First and 10 at the 20-yard line. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he is out of bounds, looks like right at the 15. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. A gain of five, brings up second and five. This will be caught at about the six. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Cleveland. A 15-yard touchdown grab. And the Browns have moved out in front. I know we often laugh, and sometimes we even exalt the guys who are great trash talkers and give us some really funny lines. But the bottom line is absolute production on the field. The second touchdown of the game, and they lead. And now they'll be looking to their defense to preserve that lead. Now the extra point.
He's got it as they go up by a total of 17 to 10. So the drive winds up going 75 yards in seven plays. And it's capped off by the Browns' touchdown. Here is Wisnowski to boot it away following the touchdown. This will be fielded inside the five. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. At their own 29-yard line. So we get a look at the Lions offense as they get ready for their first possession of the second half. And this game was all square at halftime, but now they find themselves down seven following the opening drive touchdown here in the third quarter. And they need to take a good, relaxing, deep breath, don't you think? Because right now they might start to feel like they've got to play catch up here and start matching them point for point. But it's still too early to get there. They can still run their offense. Plenty of time to get back in this game. A gain of six there on first. You know, despite the score line, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road in just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made, and that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Operating from the gun. Hicks rolling to his right. He may try and run for this. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. Now that definitely hurts because the mindset is getting a three and out there, and they don't get it done. They give up the scramble and a pickup for a first down. First and 10 upcoming from Brown's territory now at the 39-yard line. Now a handoff here to his running back. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. It's a gain of eight. Brings up second and two. From the gun, Hicks looking middle, and that's complete. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. Nice job there of utilizing his big target. He didn't overthink it. Understands the catch radius. Understands that he knows how to use his body to keep defenders away from the ball. And puts it right out there for the nice pickup. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. This will be caught at about the five. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. I don't care what sport you're playing, everyone likes to build up a little momentum, don't they? And look at this, back-to-back -back completions to the big target at tight end. That one not as profitable as the other, but still a decent game. And he'll give it here to his running back. Uh, not a whole lot there. He does get a couple, taking it from the five down to the three. Play number seven coming on this drive. It's third and inches. Operating from the gun. Hicks. He's got his man. It's caught for a Lion touchdown. From three yards out. And the Lions are an extra point away from tying this thing up. There was a lot of zip on that pass, and baseball might have called that a frozen rope. I like it when you bring the diamond into the game. I'm going back to the gridiron. Had some heat on that bad boy. Sometimes you throw a touchdown pass, and sometimes you throw, what, a touchdown strike? There you go. That's my man in concert. And he gets it to go, and we're all even. 17 apiece. 
So that drive in total eight plays. And the end result, a Detroit touchdown. Nothing separating these two teams on the scoreboard as the kick's away here. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And he'll wind up getting a couple extra yards here for his trouble to bringing it out of the end zone as he's down at the 27. 27 yard line. Out comes this field general once more, leading his offense back onto the field. He has been consistent, hasn't he? He played well in the first quarter, good second quarter, and now continuing that here in the third. And that's the word that they're always seeking from the guy taking the snaps, is consistency. Taking care of the ball, making sure it gets to the right people, no errors, right? Not turning it over, and just doing all the right things. That's leadership, and it inspires confidence in a team. Yeah, been a good leadership and a good distributor. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of, until they stop him, why not go back to it? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. On second down, Clinton. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. At the 37 yard line. They'll keep it on the ground. Clinton. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. Number 24 the ball. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Four yards on the pickup. Second and six. Back to throw. McMillan over the middle into traffic, and that's complete. Four. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. At the 49-yard line. And to give this time to the tailback. And he's going to get it across the midfield stripe into Lion territory. Gets a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. It's now second and six. They'll keep it on the ground. Clinton. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 11 yards there, first down. All right, I got to ask you, with these RPOs, essentially the quarterback has three options, right? So what's different from that versus the triple option that we see the service academies run at the college level? As a general rule, the triple option at the college level, most things are called outside of the quarterback faking it to the runner and then keeping it himself and maybe having a trail back. What I mean is, in the NFL, that option to throw the football all comes about organically. It's a natural deal based on reads. In college, if you're going to throw the football off a triple option, you've actually called that play. And he pushes through a would-be tackler to get about three yards, second down. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. Second down now. Clinton had a pretty good run as he'll get this down close to a first at the Lions 28. Call that a gain of five as the clock ticks inside at two minutes to go now in the third. And there's a run to be happy with. Good, solid yardage. He'll take that any time you hand the ball to him back. Throwing left side here, and it's complete. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the five. Well, they were in search of a short gain on third down, and they wind up nabbing over 20 yards. But the kind of game he's had so far, you had to know that on third down, that they would be looking his way, and they did for big yardage and a first down. I think the defense fell asleep at the switch on that one. I would have doubled him, tripled him, anything to keep the ball out of his hands. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. Only a yard on the pickup there. Second and goal. Be interesting to see now what they do offensively down near the goal line after not much there that time. As the offensive play caller, that may change your sequence now. Instead of coming right back with a running play, you may have to go to the air. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Browns touchdown. From four yards out. And the Browns have moved out in front. 
You get down near the goal line, this is where having a sure-handed tight end becomes a luxury, and it pays off big time, especially when the defense sells out against the run. He finds himself open for an easy touchdown. Extra point attempt to follow here. And they will take a seven-point lead now. A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And it ends with a touchdown for Cleveland. Here is Wisnowski to boot it away following the touchdown. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. The Lions take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. And Detroit getting set to go now. And they had to wait a long time to get the football back. Probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offense that's humming. Agreed. What you were looking for is the defense getting the ball back pretty quickly, right? Hoping for a three and out. So that didn't happen. You can't yell at your D for that. They've got to take care of their own business and reestablish themselves now that they're back on the field. And the ball is knocked out. He'll have a first down past the 40. That's good for the Lions. The Lions take over first and 10 at their own 45-yard line. One quarter remains here in the Super Bowl. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. The big play to start him out has him at the 45 already. From the gun, Hicks. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Another first down this time on a gain of 19. Oh, that was a pretty route right there because it's all about finding a window on a route like that. He lined up on his left, ran the deep in route over the middle, and the ball was right where it needed to be. Really good trust between quarterback and receiver. Really good completion. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and ten. him up five first and 15 <laughs> operating from the gun picks a yeah, quick throw here that's complete there he goes inside the 30 touchdown Detroit Wide receivers are about flash and dash and high-flying plays, but a good number of them played running back at some point in their career, and that's how they finish off a lot of their big plays, run after the catch. And this time he finishes off the big play in the end zone. Now still down one. Here's an utterly critical extra point attempt here. people about to turn blue from holding their breaths, but it's good, and this Super Bowl is tied. Nothing separating these two sides. 24 all our score as he sends this one away. Taking it at about the one. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. The Browns take over first and 10 at their own 27-yard line. Ready to take over again on offense. Out comes Cleveland. And this Super Bowl has been as good as advertised. Probably one of the best that we've seen in recent memory. All even here in this fourth quarter. On 
first and ten. McMillan. And this is incomplete. Second and ten now from the 27. It's now second and ten. Now a handoff here to his running back. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. The Browns on third down. They've converted four times out of six. Not bad. They're up against a third and one situation. And the Lions pressure too strong. Down he goes. How about that part? His second sack of the game, and that puts him in some pretty good company. 17 guys have had two sacks in the previous 52 Super Bowls, but only three have had the record number of three sacks in this game. And we've got the list here. If he gets another one and everyone behaves nicely, we might just list those out for him. The Browns send out their punter now as he'll kick it away for the second time. His first punt, 48 yards. This one looks equally as good. Just a net of 34 there following a punt of 44 yards. And the Lions will take over. The Lions offense set to take over. Excellent job by their defense to force the punt and provide them with this opportunity all tied in the fourth quarter. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at their 38. From the gun, Hicks, he'll buy some time right. And he's going to lose a yard or two, taken down behind the line. A loss of a yard. Let's go, let's go. Hicks, second. Man, he got in there so quickly, Charles. What could the offense have done to adjust and account for that? But what you're hoping is that you figure it out and you see and get a clue that maybe there's going to be some pressure coming at you. And you change the blocking schemes. Maybe you go to max protection. The biggest one is maybe you bring your running back in to try and keep you clean. But in that case, that didn't happen. Zero accountability and a sack resulted. The sack cost him only a yard. It's second and 11. Operating from the gun. Hicks. Quick hitter here. It's complete. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 11 yards there. First down. They'll run the draw with Dorsett. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 47. Two yards the loss, second and 12. He's got exactly what you're looking for. The ability to not just diagnose a play and quickly, but to make a play as well. Nice job there tackling him for a loss. And this Browns defense coming to life. They get him behind the line for a second straight play. That'll wind up as a loss on the play. So now they're staring at a third down and 12. I know they've got to be careful not to go to the well too often, but it's a fine line, isn't it? Because sometimes if you've got success, you want to just keep pounding away. But no success there. They rallied quickly on the defensive end. The Lions on third down. Can't fault these numbers. Seven for nine thus far. This is third down and 12. From the gun, Hicks. Dancing to his left. He can run for it, and he will. Give him eight yards that time on the scramble, and now fourth down. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield, as he gears up to go again. And after a sluggish start, he's really bounced back. The numbers bear that out. And you're a baseball guy, partner. How many at-bats over the course of a baseball season? Oh, boy, four about in three, a game. Yeah, about the four in a four game. Four times 162. 350 or so, right? Sometimes it takes a while for a guy to get going. That's my point. It's not the first few carries. You don't worry about that. As they go along, get that guy lathered up, get those blocking assignments down. Those two-yard gains turn into bigger gains as the game moves along. A good pick up there, 26 yards. Oh 
So the ball moves into Lion territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. Draw play to the running back. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. A gain of a yard brings up second and nine. Operating from the gun. McMillan, and this one incomplete. McMillan. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. It's now third down and nine yards to go. To throw on third down, McMillan. And that will be incomplete. McMillan's pass. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap, and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. Wisnowski on to punt as he sends this one away. And this will depend on the spot as it sails out of bounds. And they'll say it sailed out at the 10-yard line. And so they'll play the field position game here as a very nice punt is going to pin them back. Yeah, it's almost like watching a game of tennis. Or do you prefer ping pong, you know, back and forth like that? But it definitely was excellent, wasn't it? Detroit's offense ready to take over. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. It's all through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. Call it no gain on the keeper, and it's going to bring up a third down. It's third down and four. From the gun, Hicks. Looking left side, it's complete. He's got him. And he is going to have a Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. The second catch of the Super Bowl, and it's good enough for a first down. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. So first and 10 now from the 30. And he'll give it here to his running back. He takes this from the 30 to the 34. Number 30. Line of scrimmage, the 24. This is second and six. Four yards on the pickup. Second and six. Running right, it's Dorset. And he'll rumble for about five, up close to the 40. Carry for the Lions on third down. They've had plenty of success. Eight conversions, looking for a ninth. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. And that'll be accepted, of course, and that moves him back five. Bad time to get a delay of game penalty there. Not that there's a good time, but that makes it third and six. Operating from the gun. Hicks. Throwing left side. It's complete. And he is going to have a Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Give them 22 there on the third down conversion. First and 10 upcoming from Brown's territory now at the 44-yard line. From the gun, Hicks. Over the middle, Dorsett. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. Good route, good pickup for first down yardage. And that is a tough one to cover, the angle route, because a running back getting out of the backfield, if you're trying to cover that, especially if you're in the linebacker spot and you're seeing this play develop, he heads out towards the flat first. And that often gets you to overcommit running in that direction. Then he cuts back up inside you into the middle of the field. That's what we just saw there for a nice pickup. On first down, Hicks. 
The left side, it's Dorsan. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. Number three yards the game there, second down. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. And he'll be taken down near the 20 at the 21. All tied up, less than two minutes to go. So the Lions in possession of the football as we welcome you back. They've got a third down, but they are in field goal range already. And to give this time to the tailback. And yeah, that's not going to get it done. He'll come up well short of the first at about the 21. And now with 1.52 to go, we get another pause in the action. A timeout here defensively. On for the field goal. A 38-yard attempt. And the 12-year veteran knocks it right through. And they have taken the lead here in the final two minutes. 27, Browns 24. Big kick right there to give them the lead in the fourth, but there is still time left for a final drive. Did they score too soon? Post game will tell us, right? Depending on what happens on this drive, that's how we'll analyze it. If the other team scores, they scored too soon. If they somehow hold on, they manage the clock exactly right. 26 yard line. So now the Browns down on the scoreboard. A minute 45 to play. They need at least a field goal to send this Super Bowl to overtime as they come up on first down. He's back to throw. Shakes off the sack. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Now this one from about two counties over after the sack. They come up on a second and very long. So in one play, you've lost an amount of yardage that our stat guy is still totaling up. Now there are mess-ups, and there are mess-ups. I think this falls in the latter category. Back to throw. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. But Hackett will play there on third down, but amazingly, they're still short for fourth. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. And that'll be incomplete. Here now is second and 10, again from the 41. It's second down, and he'll look to throw. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Third down and ten. They'll look to throw. He finds Quick. And he is going to have a Browns first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And a timeout comes in. The whistles blow with three seconds remaining. One final shot. They'll look to throw. He's going to let it fly. And it's incomplete. So their final drive comes up empty. And with that, the ball game is over. And the Lions, yes, the Detroit Lions, have won the Super Bowl. And their remarkable season ends in the most remarkable of ways. They get to put next to their name, Super Bowl champion. And they can't ever take that away, can they? Nope. That lasts forever. So good to see the emotion when it's all said and done. You see the hugs. You see the guys sharing the collective happiness. Makes me want to carry you around a little <laughs> bit on my shoulders to celebrate the triumph. And congratulations to them. A fantastic season. year just how everybody wants to end the year holding the Lombardi trophy what a season for them what a ride it's been for us as well here in the booth for Charles Davis and our entire crew I'm Brandon Gunn thanks for watching everybody we will see you next season right here on EA Sports